Hey everybody, Davey here from Davey's World Fishing. Today we're going to take a look at the Okuma Alihos Lever Drag Reels. Awesome reels, the new Mini Makaira. Stay tuned. <laughs> Now, the Alihos is not a brand new introduction for Okuma, but it's been around for a couple of years now. They're just now starting to hit the market. Okuma knew that they had a little issue with the Alihos when they were introduced. They stopped the project, they slowed it down, they went in and fixed everything that needed to be fixed, and have now released these to the market. We just wrapped up the Pacific Coast Sport Fishing, as well as the new Bart Hall shows, and these reels have been very popular. The product development manager, John Bretza, has actually coined these the Mini Makaira. Awesome little reels. They definitely fit into your lineup nicely. There's actually, uh, what, four different sizes for these uh, Alejos reels. Actually, like, there's, what, five different sizes? There's a 5, a 5 narrow, a 12, a 12 narrow, as well as a 16 size reel. Uh, they call it the Mini Makaira because internally it's almost exactly like a Makaira. It features that pull bar drag system as well as a large thrust bearing. That thrust bearing is the size of the entire side plate. So it's just not a little bearing that everything's hitting, it's actually the entire thrust bearing. And that's exactly the same as the Makairas. Now the new SLX Solterra reels have those thrust bearings. And it's something that Okuma worked with with Tiburon reels when they were designing those reels. Now the Alejos reels are all lever drag reels, so they've got that nice real positive click as you're getting in there. They've all got that nice metal uh, clicking ring there that you're actually going to be able to dial into. Um, you get the full, you got a push button that'll actually get you all the way up past strike to full. But what's unique about these particular reels is it does have that casting side right on there. There's a little bit of a casting break in there. You can dial that in, and these are built specifically for the light baits. Uh, the, when this reel started to be designed, the thought was going to be more anchovy out here on the West Coast. Um, doesn't appear to be happening totally, but you never know if you're going to get the small sardines, big sardines. But that really dials you in as far as casting. It's got a nice lightweight spool with a ton of free spool to it. So these things can actually cast really well. Nice light spool, cast it well. You can wing those baits out nice. You can do a nice underhand, overhand, however you want to get those baits out away from the boat. Great little reels. As far as drag goes... Uh, there's there's quite a bit of drag range in these guys depending on the size from that 5 narrow 5, 12, 12 uh, narrow and you got that 16 size too and I want to say they start out at right in that uh, 30 pounds of drag at uh, strike and they go up in that 40 pound range at full. Um, very easy to use. They're all actually two speed reels. They've got just like the Makaira the large oversized button that drops you into low gear and it's got the nice little easy switch that puts you right back into high speed. They've all got a pretty standard gear ratio until you get into the high speed versions. The standard gear ratio on these I want to say is like a 2.3 with a high speed in that uh, like 4.8. You get into the high speed version which is going to be the S, you'll see the Alejos 12. You'll see one that has an S on it, those are the high speed. Those are going to get you into that 6 to 1 gear ratio on that high speed. Now they all have a clicker, nice loud clicker, so if you happen to be trolling these reels you can actually hear that reel nicely. That's been the one negative on the Makaira reels is the clicker. The clickers do have some issues, they're not very loud. They seem to have upgraded that quite a bit on the Alihos as well as those Kavala reels. Hopefully that transition will go into those Makaira reels as well. Another feature you're going to notice is that large oversized T-bar handle design. That's the same handle that you have on those Makaira reels, and that's featured on all sizes of the Alejos reel. That gives you that nice ergonomic feel that keeps your shoulder and everything nice and in line so you can really grind those fish in, especially when you're dropping down into low, popping that guy back into high, makes it nice and easy. They are interchangeable, so you can get the other, uh, the regular ergo grip, rounded ball style handle that you find in the Kavalas. You can get those instead if you wanted to switch it out. I'm sure Okuma sells those directly through their parts department but to great little reels. As I mentioned, it's, it's coined the Mini Makaira, so you're paying for that Makaira price as well. Makaira start at that 600 plus range. These start at that 440 to, I think it tops out at like that 540 range depending on your sizes. So as I mentioned, they're all two speeds, but I, I guess that's not totally true. They also offer some sailfish reels within the Alejos lineup. There's a 12 and a 16 single speed reel, and those are all high speed reels for that southeast market that are doing the sailfish, or anything else that you're going to need that real high speed for. 
those reels don't have the extreme drag on them. They're actually pretty light drags. I want to say they're in that 12 to 15 pounds of range. Might even be a little bit less than that. But those are for anglers that are fishing strictly tournament grade, IGFA, going for records. Uh, going for that light line monofilament fishing for sailfish. So they are the sailfish reels. And you'll see those, they say an SE on the number here. It'd be like 12 SSE, that sort of thing. But great little reels. It has all of the weep holes that the Makairas have. So if you're trolling straight back with the rod back, you have your weep holes underneath. So if you get any water inside, it actually drains. If you're doing it at an angle off of a rod holder in the back, you've got a weep hole here that'll keep it nice and drained. And if you have it up in your rod rack, there's another weep hole right on the side, so you'll get some drainage there as well. Same as the Makairas, it's got that large push button that we talked about earlier, and there's drainage all the way around. So if you get water behind your big push button there, it'll actually drain out nicely. That does help a lot of the uh, corrosion, any kind of issues you have there. Six total ball bearings in this reel, as I mentioned. Free spool on these things is ridiculous. Uh, it's you know, something you gotta dial in there as well to make sure you don't have too much free spool spool tension, get in there, get dialed in. The drag ramp on these is very nice as well. But that's the Alejos by Okuma. Two speed reels, there's those high speed sailfish reels. You won't see them out here in Southern California too much, but great little reels. You know, that, that casting, very important too. So if you are throwing irons or whatever else you wanna do with these reels, that does help for a lot of that backlash as well. I appreciate y'all checking in. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below and subscribe to Davies World Fishing in that right hand corner. See you on the water.